Welcome or welcome back to the Neville Goddard Podcast. My name is Mr. 2020. Today we're going to dive into the final feeling. Because there are two sides to this whole manifesting thing that you got to get just right. The first is really nailing the tones of reality, the vividness of imagination. And we do that really quick. You know, what, what do you see? What do you hear? What do you feel? Feel, let's say, physically, right? Just for fun. But there's that final feeling, and this is something that a lot of people miss or force. And you don't want to miss it. You don't want to force it. You don't want to fake it. What you get to do is explore and expand and surrender into it. So that's what we're going to dive into today in the Neville Goddard Podcast. I want to thank you for listening. I want to thank you for being a listener. And I want to thank you for sharing and supporting what we do. Because uh, when you share, when you send us an email, whenever you pick up a product, uh, because the products are way beyond an episode, it just means heaps to us. So have a great day, gang. My name is Mr. 2020, coming to you live from Melbourne, Australia. And this here is the final feeling. So you don't want to forget the final feeling, but you do want to set it up so that it sticks. A lot of people forget the final feeling because they either don't know about it, they don't know that's what you really need to blame, <laughs> or they make it a bumper sticker. Yep, did it, done that, tick box. And this is so much, there's so much more to this. It's, it's really, it's like kissing. God, I remember when my first girlfriend taught me how to kiss. I'm not ashamed to admit it. I was a sloppy kisser, and she said, no, 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 no. <laughs> so she taught me how to kiss. It was a beautiful thing, it still is. But you need the final feeling, and the final feeling you get to explore into, like kissing. Ready? So I sent out this cool little thing called a substack the other day, and in my substack I had a cool little graphic. And it had something to the words of see what you would see, hear what you would hear, feel what you would feel. And it was a photo of my cigar ashtray taken from me sitting in my chair, looking at my cigar ashtray out into the garden. And the whole thing was about seeing the garden while listening to traffic and the bird song, feeling my ass in my camping chair, just knowing I had all the time in the world. See what you would see, feel what you would feel, hear what you would hear. The final feeling is the feeling of actually the naturalness of it, the knowingness of it, the knowingness of it. If it doesn't feel natural, it's not you already. The knowingness. When you know what it's like, you know what it's like. And you get to explore your way into it. See, Neville Goddard said when you first imagine something, it's like putting on a new suit of clothing. It doesn't feel like you. You get to wear it a little bit. Now here's the cool thing. You just don't imagine it and sort of like, yep, I imagine it, I'll wear it for a little bit. Explore it. You move around in that new suit of clothing to make it yours. And at some point, the clothing is yours. It fits you. I've got this leather belt. And it's my leather belt. I've worn it to the point where it fits me. Same with my shoes. I, I love leather shoes. I love leather. Some people don't like that I love leather. That's all right. You can like what you like. See, I like the truth about you that sets you free. <laughs> and that's what's really cool because when you get how natural it is, when it feels 100% natural to you, See, it would feel really weird for me to get a job. It would feel really weird for me to consider what do I need to make an hour to get in the car, to go someplace for eight hours, to spend two hours a day in traffic. That just sounds really weird to me. On the other hand, listen to that coffee. See what you would see, feel what you would feel. Sorry, see what you would see, hear what you would hear, feel what you would feel, if your wish were fulfilled. 
give it the tones of reality. That's how you do that. And explore the final feeling. The final feeling is that knowingness, that knowingness. A very simple I am, that feeling. <clears throat> See, that final feeling may have some I remember when in it. In other words, that final feeling, see, when I sit in my camper chair and I smoke my cigar, so I can smell the cigar, I can hear the bird song, I can hear traffic. I know most people are going to or from or are already at work right now. And as I sit here and I experience the final feeling, by the way, what was once imagined is now my reality. What was once imagined in reality is now my physical reality, has been for years. And I continue to give life to that by imagining, yeah, you know what I'm going to do later today? I'm going to sit in my camping chair, listen to the birds, listen to the traffic. Notice the lovely space that I have. See, once you imagine something into existence, you continue to give it life by imagining it into existence still. I didn't just imagine marrying Victoria. I imagine her happy in the garden today. That's what a happy, loving husband does. A happy, loving husband naturally has desires, like his wife being happy. So he imagines her happy. That final feeling is something that's dynamic, something that you get to explore. That final feeling. So I can remember whenever I would work jobs. When I moved to Australia, I decided to build an empire to really have big impact. I decided I'd never get a job here. Traffic is nuts in this place. People can't drive, in my opinion. And that's okay. We're all allowed to have opinions. But I really didn't need much of an excuse to go, you know what, this time I'm really going to nail it. I've been building businesses for decades that, that do great, that crash and burn, that do okay, that do great, that crash and burn, that do okay, that do great. And finally I decided to do something grand. How do I imagine doing something grand? I see what I would see. My garden. My ashtray. God, by the way, it's made. A friend of mine made it out of really beautiful Australian hardwood. When you come here, I'll show it to you. He just he hand milled this. It's just beautiful. I'd hear what I would hear. This bird song in the traffic. I'd feel what I would feel. The cigar in my hands. My butt in my camping chair. I'd also feel that I had no rush at all, plenty of time. And then I would find that final feeling of this is my world. This is my experience. This is who I am. I am that guy. That final feeling. Savor it. Explore it. Sort of like smelling bread when it's baking in the oven. Oh, that's so good. Savor it. Let it permeate you. Surrender to it. To the point where, you know, you, when the bread comes out, you've got to put some butter on it. Oh my God, is that good. If you got gold today, my suggestion is going to be Secrets of Surrender. It's a cool little pack that explores how to not let this be an act of war. Because a lot of people, when they manifest, it feels like an act of war. It feels like an act of will. And Neville Goddard said this is to be contrasted with an act of will. This is an act of surrender. You can get Secrets of Surrender at NevilleGoddardStore.com. That's NevilleGoddardStore.com. Lots of other goodies there, too. But that is just a dynamic one. Because whenever you really play with the tones of reality, that's a simple thing to do. The surrender part, you realize we have so much of a stigmata 
<laughs> I love big words about surrender. We love force in this culture. We love willpower. Stick to it. Make it happen. Don't give up. All right. Give in. Give life. Give you the adventure of a lifetime. Secrets of Surrender. You can get that at NevilleGoddardStore.com. Have a lovely day, gang. Thanks for listening. My name is Mr. 2020, and it is the 22nd of December. Time to give yourself some goodies. See ya.